Welcome back, and once again, we're joined with our guest over the phone, Mrs. Amal Murabda, Chairman of the Egyptian Federation for Intellectual Disabilities. Good afternoon, Mrs. Amal. Good afternoon. How are you? How are you? Uh, well, uh, Mrs. Amal, how do you view the significance of participating in the Paralympics of uh, Tokyo 2020? Actually, it's an honor for the uh, Paralympics uh, athletes to be a part in this Olympics uh, 2021. Uh, I hope, uh, like before, uh, you know that Egyptian, uh, uh, Egypt used to get more than between 17 and 19 medals every Olympic Games. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know how many medals I expect to get uh, this year, but I wish that we can get more and more than uh, uh, the Olympic Games before. Mm -hmm. How do you weigh the state's efforts in supporting people with special needs? Um, I think uh, uh, all uh, Egypt now is uh, in another era uh, with the special Olympic needs uh, or the special, uh, the special needs uh, people. Uh, starting from uh, uh, His Highness uh, Mr. Uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi, our president, because he gives a lot of care and a lot of attention to uh, our um, um, special needs uh, people. And of course, it uh, uh, cascaded to uh, the government, to the people. Uh, a lot of awareness, uh, a lot of service has been provided um, for the last few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mrs. Amal, what are the main activities and aid that the Federation provides to disabled people? Actually, the main uh, uh, activities for us is sports, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we care a lot about uh, uh, the mothers and the parents. We give them many uh, camps and uh, uh, um, we give them some services, we give them awareness campaigns. Um, Plus, um, uh, you know that we may, uh, every year now we have uh, our big ceremony, Qadrun uh, Bekhtenef, which uh, uh, covered many uh, social and uh, cultural uh, uh, activities for uh, our athletes. So, plus, uh, the main issue or the main activity is uh, the sport. Mm -hmm. And how do you view the preparations for the tournament uh, amid the coronavirus precautionary measures? Now, uh, could, could you repeat, please? How do you view the preparations for this tournament uh, amid the, the uh, coronavirus precautionary measures? Uh, you talk about the Olympics in Japan, you mean? Yes, yes. How do you, how do you, how do you see the preparations for, for this uh, Olympic Games? Uh, actually, our situation is not a part of, uh, of the Olympic Games mm -hmm. because they, uh, they are going with the physical. Uh, until, uh, the physical dis uh, disability is not uh, the, min the mental disability. Yes. Uh, so it's the Paralympic Committee, not the Federation. Mm -hmm. And how so could I, the I, we are not a part of this preparation, uh, unfortunately. Okay. Now and we hope next uh, next Olympics in Paris to 2024, inshallah, we will have our athletes to be a part. Uh, yeah, and we hope that we are working on to, to have our athletes uh, with intellectual disabilities to be a part of the next uh, Paralympic Games. Mm -hmm. uh, how could the media and the social media help in supporting those champions uh, during the Paralympics, in your opinion? Uh, you know, uh, every athlete, whatever he has a special need or he's not, he needs all the time to have uh, uh, his country support, his people support, his parents support. So uh, yani, many, yani, this is what we have to do all the time to give them uh, or to show uh, them our, uh, our support, uh, that we are with them, we pray for them, uh, encourage, uh, and inshallah they will come back to our country with, with many medals as we expect. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the presence of uh, people with special needs in other also fields uh, other than sports, I mean? Um, they are, uh, yani, they became uh, um, yani a great uh, add value to many aspects um, in our uh, yani in Egypt now. But we still need them to be participate in work, to have their own job, 
to uh, to be part of uh, our work uh, environment. Mm -hmm. Uh, President Sisi always asserts keenness on supporting people with uh, special needs, especially in the field of sports. How do you assess the state's efforts in reaching this goal? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Well, okay, I would like to thank you very much, Mrs. Amal Mubab, the chairman of the Egyptian Federation of uh, Intellectual Disabilities. Many thanks for your insight. And dear viewers, now we go to a short break and we'll be right back.